More than 100 dogs on the men tonight after one of the largest animal raids in Middle Tennessee history. Several agencies teamed up to rescue them from horrible conditions at a home in Bedford County. New at 10 tonight, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon joins us from the newsroom with the latest on this case. Emily. Well, yeah, the good news is the animals are doing well. Officials of the Bedford County Animal Control say they're getting checked out, and they think that almost all will fully recover. Now, as far as the owner, 62-year-old Kelly Williams Grunder, she's facing one charge of animal cruelty, and other charges will likely follow. <laughs> These puppies have endured a lot during their short lives. Most of these guys were, were basically starving. They were just malnourished. They needed food. They needed a warm place to sleep. They needed clean water. Some of these guys probably hadn't had water in days because the water was frozen. They are among the 107 dogs and three cats rescued from a home on Courtner Road in Normandy. A tip from a neighbor led Bedford County Animal Control to the owner. She uh, took us on the property and showed us around and showed us some of the animals. And at that point, we knew there was a serious, serious problem. The animals were living in mud, garbage, and with no shelter. This is where the puppies are. Animal Control area. Director Jack Cooper says it was one of the most troubling abuse cases he's seen. For me personally, this is the biggest case I've ever worked. Now the dogs are being cared for at the Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration in Shelbyville. As far as uh, these guys here, I think they're doing great. This is a lot better than they, you know, where they were. So. As they quickly adjust to a world with plenty of food, water, and attention, they will likely be on their way to loving homes soon. The vast majority of these guys were going to live on those chains or live in those kennels until they die. And so now these guys have, have a broader future for sure. And most of those dogs should be ready to be adopted in just a few weeks. If you'd like more information, you can reach out to Bedford County Animal Control. That number is 931-685-1130. Back to you. All right, Emily. Because the case was so large, both PetSmart and Walmart have donated food and supplies to help out.